Welcome back to Learning English Pro. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at English vocabulary and terminology relating to different types of American houses. I will be taking you on a lesson to learn lots of English terminology, all about the different styles of popular American houses. There are specific and common styles of houses found in the USA, and I will teach you the names of them and various features of each of the house in English. And if you're looking for a more general video lesson on house types, make sure to check out the video I have linked in the description below. It covers all different types of houses from around the world. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, Learning English Pro, you're very welcome. My name is Jer and I'm narrating your lesson today. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all my latest lessons. As usual, make sure to check out and revise all the words covered in today's video in the extensive word list in the description below. Revising the words and re-watching the video in a day or two is a great way to make sure the vocabulary really sticks in your brain. Okay, so let's jump in with our first American house type. And the first type is ranch. So next up, let's take a look at some of the interesting features of the ranch style of house. This type of American house has an open floor plan. This means that there aren't too many internal walls in the living areas. The ranch style of house also usually has an attached garage. This can be used to store your car or other items. A pitched roof is also common in a ranch style house. This is a roof that slopes downwards and is usually divided in two parts. The material these homes are generally constructed in is wooden or brick. Another typical feature of a ranch style home is a sliding door to the backyard. When it comes to the size and shape of these ranch houses, we would typically say that these are U or L shaped homes. Our next style of house is a Cape Cod. So what are the interesting characteristics of a Cape Cod style house? They typically have a wide chimney. And we would also say that it has a steep roof. This means that the roof has a sharp angle. Our next characteristic of a Cape Cod style house is shuttered windows. Shutters are generally a pair of hinged panels fixed to each side of the window that can be closed for privacy or security. These style of homes are generally constructed of brick or clapboard. Clapboard is overlapping panels of wood. Our next style of American house is the shotgun, which is very common in the city of New Orleans. Shotgun style homes are very unique as they are quite slim and rectangular. And because the houses are so narrow, rooms lead straight from the front to the back. Another common feature of these unusual looking houses is the front porch. A porch is a covered shelter projecting in front of the entrance to a home or building. Moving on, our next type of house is the Victorian style. What are the characteristics of this style of house? Typically, it is two or three storey. This just means that there are multiple levels. A very common feature of a Victorian style house is elaborate brackets. These are indicated on screen. They are added to the house purely for decoration and don't hold any structural purpose. Another feature of a Victorian style house is patterned shingles. Shingles are tiles that can cover the roof or parts of the wall. And the Victorian style, like the shotgun, generally has a porch, but with the Victorian style, it's a very large porch. Probably my favorite feature of the Victorian house is the towers. These really add character to the house and are prominent in many scary movies. We're moving into the modern era next with contemporary homes. Modern homes are designed with the latest technology and as such, they are typically very energy efficient. Another good way they are good for the environment is that they are built with sustainable and mixed materials. 
This means that they are built with the environment in mind. This could mean that they are made with recycled materials or that the materials are sourced locally. Other features of contemporary homes include blended living areas, along with tall windows. Let's move on to our next style of American home, which is the Mediterranean style. Sometimes you may hear people refer to this type of home as a villa. This style of home will generally have red roof tiles. And they are known for having lots of terraces and balconies. When it comes to the covering of the external walls, the material used is plaster. Whenever I think about this style of home, the first thing that springs to mind are the many arches that are included in the design. These can be found in passageways, doorways and the shape of the windows. Let's keep going and move on to our next style, which is Art Deco. Art Deco styles and architecture are synonymous with Miami and Miami Beach. They typically have flat roofs and they are well known for their bright colours. And these bright colours cover the exterior walls which are generally covered in stucco which is a type of plaster. Another feature of the exterior walls are the geometric details and patterns. All of these characteristics give Art Deco its signature style. Our next style is much older, Tudor style homes. This style of home is quite unique and it generally has two stories. A common feature is the multiple gabled roofs. A gable is the triangular upper part of a wall at the end of a ridged roof. On screen you can see that the house has three of these gabled roofs. Typically on these gabled roofs and along the walls we have the timber framing. As you can see I've indicated this on screen. This style of home is also known for having large casement windows. A casement window is a window set on a vertical hinge that opens like a door. These houses were generally built before central heating became popular and as such they are known for having sturdy chimneys. Up next we're going to take a look at the style of American home called bungalow. So what are the features of this style of home? A bungalow is generally a low broad home. A very typical characteristic of a bungalow is overhanging eaves. An eave is the part of a roof that meets the walls of a building. And the roof of a bungalow is usually a low gabled roof. And like many of the American style of home, they have a large front porch. This style of home can have many different variations and it can also be made of many different materials like wood, stucco plaster and stone. The bungalow style brings us to the end of our English lesson. Let me know how you got on in the comments. I love to hear from you and don't forget to check out the word list in the description. It's full of all the terminology we've covered in today's lesson. And if you're looking for more English vocabulary on different subjects, you should head over to my YouTube channel where you'll find lots and lots of English vocabulary lessons on lots of interesting and unusual topics. And coming up on screen are some video suggestions just for you. There's also a link for you to subscribe here, so make sure to do that. Then head over to my community tab on my YouTube channel for lots more English learning content. I hope you have a fantastic day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.